Elon Musk told us over a year ago that he was transitioning the company. The company was no longer going to be a metal bending company. It was going to be an AI company specializing in robots. That was the new direction. This is now taking place. It's now there. We are at that moment. Tesla is now the leader in embodied AI with no close rivals. But I want to get super practical about this today. Tesla now has a unique position compared to any other company to use its AI to improve everything related to the company. So I've asked Kroc today because it only seemed appropriate. I've asked Kroc for some special help in uh, sussing out the specifics of what I want to talk about here. I'm very curious to hear what you think about Grok's take on my concept. Now, I've helped Grok out from time to time, but so it's not 100% Grok, but you know, you'll get it. Okay, so today we're diving into how Grok, XAI's game-changing AI, is revolutionizing Tesla's battery electric vehicle division. From designing jaw-dropping cars to supercharging factory efficiency and crafting viral marketing, Grok's taking Tesla to a completely new height. Stick around to discover exactly how A can change the future of electric vehicles and maybe even your next Tesla. Hit that like button if you're excited to learn about this EV revolution. Okay, we're going to cover six key areas, design, engineering, factory efficiency, marketing, customer experience, and sustainability. Now, if you want to know how Grok can make your Tesla drive smarter or help Tesla build cars faster, that's what I'm trying to do today. Keep watching and you'll don't forget to subscribe and hit notify because this is going to be the direction from now on. It's going to be about AI as it impacts Tesla. It's going to be about Tesla. It's going to be about the stock. It's going to be about the economy. But we AI needs to impact all of that, okay? Part one, design, crafting the next gen Tesla. Let's uh, kick things off with design. Tesla's vehicles are iconic for their sleek, futuristic vibe. But designing a car is more about just looks. It's about aerodynamics, efficiency, um, you know, and user experience. You know all those things. Grok's here and will help Tesla to design things to make things even better, even bolder, even more exciting. Grok can run, here's the key, he can run millions of design simulations in seconds, optimize their aerodynamics to reduce drag and boost range. You can picture Grok tweaking the model wise curves to cut drag by X percent, maybe 5%, maybe three. Every little bit helps. That is real world range gains. It also predicts how design changes affect manufacturing costs, keeping Tesla's vehicles affordable. So you get this combination. This is part of the deal that we're talking about is it can be looking at all these millions of iterations, millions of, of versions, how aerodynamics is helping, but then it's got to still be stylish. It's still got to give a good customer experience. It's got to do all those things at once. Can you imagine the amount of, of engineering hours that could be saved if it could all be done in Grok? Grok pulls inspiration from global trends. It can, it can, uh, it'll get customer feedback on X, and even classic car designs can be brought into the mix in terms of how Grok is recommending new approaches. This will ensure that Tesla's vehicles are both innovative but also timeless. All right, then part two. We we promised you to talk about engineering. Tesla's BEVs are powered, of course, by cutting-edge batteries and electrical powertrains. Grok's analytical superpowers are pushing the boundaries to get these to be improved. So here's what we're going to talk about now is how that's going to work. Grok's simulated battery chemistry can do simulations of battery chemistries to boost, boost energy uh, density, extending range, or cutting costs. Again, there are so many potential battery 
uh, uh, chemistries available. There are battery chemistries that we may not have even thought of yet. And I don't mean just in terms of combination. There may be other elements that have not been suggested or are uh, co conceived of yet that can go into a battery that would be better than what we have now. 10 years ago, we didn't have many of the chemistries that we have today. And 10 years from now, I'm sure there'll be, be many others, but that's the speed up. Maybe it would have taken 10 years to get to the next great battery, but now it might be able to be done overnight. This, of course, will make EVs more uh, accessible to everyone. Grok optimizes the powertrain components also, like the motors and the inverters, predicting failure points to avoid recalls. So then this real-time data that's coming in from the fleet can be put in, but also it's gathering data from the uh, from every every aspect of the internet or anything else that's out there in terms of what people are, are learning about motors and rotors and inverters and all those things. All that information is constantly updated. And so it can be asked every morning, if you like, what, do we, what did we learn last night, Grok? I do this all the time. What did we learn last night, Grok, in terms of Tesla news? But it could also be true for uh, something like a rotor or an inverter or something else that needs, that we, they need, they, even if they're not even thinking about updating it, they can update every single day to see if there's new news coming in. By the way, let me know in the comments below if you have any ideas of how Grok, other ways that Grok could help the engineering department to make the cars even more effective and more efficient. Then you got the factory efficiency. That'd be part three. So Tesla's gigafactories are engineering marvels, as you know, the best in the world, churning out thousands of vehicles daily. But scaling production while keeping costs low is tough. And Grok will help to make that happen. Grok will analyze production data to spot bottlenecks, like a slow robotic arm or something like that. It'll predict, it'll predict maintenance needs to cut down times. You know, all these things are probably being done. I'm going to interrupt Grok here for a minute because I think he's talking about things that could already be done, but they can now be sped up. What about that mechanical arm that is currently a bottleneck? Maybe this particular one can only go so fast. What are the other possibilities that are out there today that they could buy tomorrow and slap it in there and make a huge difference. Um, again, I'm sure the engineers try to stay up on all this, but uh, you just it's a multiplying effect when you're using Grok to go out and find this information. But then you can also slide that, that new mechanical arm in there virtually and start running sim simulation tests to find out whether it's really going to be uh, able to coordinate with the rest of the line. Grok will also optimize supply chains, which is the so critical today, predicting shortages, suggesting alternative suppliers using global data. It'll coordinate battery production, vehicle assembly, and even supercharger deployment. It'll make recommendations on where the new supercharger should go. So all of that will be just incredibly faster, more efficient, more likely to find new approaches and new ideas. Uh, again, as a manufacturer, I know that we were asking our buyer all the time to see if they can find new ways to get this plastic raw material or to find new ways to uh, 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 get cheaper colorants or things of this nature. So next, we're going to dive, in, dive into how Grok makes Tesla's marketing pop. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> Here's the marketing story part four. Tesla's brand is legendary without traditional ads, but Grok's taking their game to the next level. Want to see how Grok will craft those campaigns? Well, we'll just keep watching. Grok scans X posts to gauge customer sentiment. It spots trends like demand for a six-seat Model Y. It then crafts targeted campaigns, maybe like a family-focused video for that new variant. Grok might even create quirky posts like a viral clip joking about taking Optimus out on a date. Grok will, pers will personalize the marketing, analyzing driving, ha driving habits to suggest tailored updates. Imagine you're getting a, a Model 3 offer customized for you, specific to what they already know your driving looks like. Um, you just saw last week that they were beginning to send out some new uh, uh, texts to people who had come in and uh, said that they were interested in taking a robo-taxi ride when it came to your neighborhood. They sent out texts to some of those individuals 
in a very coy way, suggesting that if you have any questions, uh, you know, maybe about buying a car, just let us know. The next part is advertising. You see, you got to engage. Now, you know, Tesla doesn't do traditional advertising, but they do do some aspects of advertising. And I think Grok can help that as well. So um, uh, Tesla is all about keeping the buzz going and Grok will craft narratives that captivate. Grok can write cyber truck ad scripts that feel epic, showing it conquering rugged terrains with a gritty voiceover. Maybe Grok's unhinged mode can, can call viewers to join the electric revolution. I think it'll get even more creative than that because it will be able to analyze what people are looking for on X specifically, what kinds of things are getting people excited on X and then craft videos that would go specifically on X. Then go over to LinkedIn or go over to Facebook, go over to Instagram and craft videos that would be very, very specific to each of those uh, 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 social media uh social media, <laughs> and then provide very unique uh, videos for each of those. And then finally, we get to part six, the customer experience. This, this one Grok calls enhancing the drive. Tesla's in-car experience is already incredible, but Grok is making it even better because we know that Grok is actually rolling out into Tesla vehicles. Uh, already right now, I guess about 1% of people already have it in their car um, and it will be continuing to roll out. Now, right now, that uh, uh, Google Assistant, you have to push the button and it's only going to give you, um, you know, stuff about, uh, up, you know, maybe uh, finding a, a diner to go to or finding a, a, a fast food place uh, along the road. Uh, it no longer, it doesn't currently integrate with the vehicle, but that's coming. And also you'll eventually be able to say, hey, uh, hey, hey, Grok, and it will speak to you without pushing the little button on the wheel. So, but all kinds of, you can have every kind of conversation imaginable. You may have heard Larry talking about this the other day. It can be, uh, you know, you're asking it about uh, technological questions that are uh, interesting to you right now. You'd be asking about views that you're seeing along the way. It can even be a storyteller uh, on unhinged mode. Or maybe if you've got kids in the, in the car, you can make it a storyteller in a five-year-old mode. While Grok can't control vehicle functions yet, that will be coming with future updates. Now, what would you ask Grok while you're driving? Let us know in the comments below. What would what kind of questions do you think that would be important to you while you're on a trip that would be valuable along the way? Okay, finally, sustainability. That's part seven. You see, we, we still want to advance the Tesla initial mission. Tesla's heart and soul, Grok's helping Tesla to reduce their environmental impact in a big way. Grok analysis is, analyzes factory energy use, suggesting ways to cut emissions like optimizing solar integration. Uh, it models battery life cycles for longer lasting recyclable cells and reducing, th thus reducing waste. You may have seen where the uh, XAI division just yesterday is putting in a, a water some kind of a water resource in Memphis to feed that that factory up there, uh, that uh, data center up there, in order not to impact the water resources of the local neighborhood. I'm thinking if that works up there, they're probably going to use that same kind of an idea with all of their major factories, all their gigafactories. By combining real-time data and predictive modeling and also hitting all the resources that just came out overnight on the internet, Grok ensures Tesla vehicles and factories align with zero carbon capture, uh, the, they, they, that it also eliminates uh, uh, particulates in the air and also gives us a circular future in terms of resource resources being reused. Tesla can also constantly search all available resources using Grok in order to stay up to date on new ideas of sustainability or any and all of the above from design to customer experience. It can just constantly be updated. That can be one of the, uh, one of the agents that it sends out one agent that they would use is just every morning update us across all of these categories. Anyway, this is the conclusion. Grok is transforming Tesla's BEV division from iconic designs to smarter factories, viral marketing, greener production. But the best part, the future is just getting started. Would you like to know how Grok could power Tesla's RoboTaxi or Optimus robots? Well, guess what? Subscribe. 
hit notify because that's what we talk about here every single day. And that is what you'll be seeing. Okay, later today, we have our regular Monday night uh, vi video. We call it, Mon I'm sorry, Monday morning, which is on Sunday night, talking about what's coming up next week. But I'm going to do another one of these videos tonight talking about more specifics, maybe about how it's impacting Optimus, how Grok will impact the Optimus production line, how it's going to speed it up, how it's going to give us a, a much faster uh, uh, opportunity uh, to uh, earn money in the Tesla in the Tesla uh, business. Um, also, check out Tesla's website, if you like, or also X. AI's Grok page. Um, and then uh, those things will help you understand even more about what we talked about today. Now, this video today was a snippet or just one aspect of how AI will be impacting everything going forward. Most of that video, most of what I just said was written by Grok. I went in and, and tweaked it a bit. But uh, this is where Brian Wong and I have, uh, at, this is why Brian Wong and I have asked eight of the guys, you know who they are. They're the eight guys, the eight uh, individuals that help me all the time as co-hosts. Uh, and we're writing a book about AI and it's going to lay out ways that it will help you navigate your future in a world of AI. Now, if you'd like to be a reader and get access to that book, uh, we're going to give you pre-publication access so that then you can feed back to us what you're thinking about in terms of the accuracy of what we've said, the readability, and even help us with the impact, make it more impactful. If you want to be a, a, a reader and help us out in the, in the reading, but also if you're going to be a reader, that means you're also promises, promising us that you will purchase a book like on day one, day two, and then that you will do a review on Amazon. So that's a, it's a three-part deal that we're, in, that we're asking you to invest. Okay, if you're willing to do that, please send me an email at randykirk77 at gmail. And then finally, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to hit notify. Um, and then we will see you on the electric road ahead. This has been great talking to you.